So my writing journey starts with this small, probably a 12-1 mare called Crystal. She was my aunt, and we didn't pay any money for her. She was just at our farm to ride for a while. So I competed her, and she was very, very fancy. But as we didn't own her, and she was a small pony, she, she eventually had to go back. But we were doing pretty good. And as you guys know, I broke like five pounds, two toes and three collarbones. So it was around here where I broke my first collarbone. But it was a clean break. And then there's my ride with Crystal. Now we're trying ponies. So here's Hanzi. Obviously, I expect you guys to know who that is. If not, I'm kind of disappointed. So we pot him and Gully. So Gully's on the left and Hans is on the right. And I unfortunately don't have a lot of clips of Gully. But you can definitely tell the difference between them. So... I'll just let those play out for you. I sh got to show both of them, which was an am amazing experience. And we were just on a roll. We were going so good. And here's us practicing some more. And um, here is my first jumper show, which we were obviously not really showing. And then I broke my collarbone in the show ring, falling off gully. So that was an experience, and obviously you can see it was shattered. But they don't do surgery on this because there's more of a risk of the surgery puncturing a lung than the actual bone puncturing lung. So I just had to sit it out for three months and let it heal. And that is why I can't put my arm above my head to this day. That is me with my sling waiting to heal up. So I had lost a lot of confidence from that fall like a lot of confidence so i was way too afraid to even canter a pull it was trotting pulls and eventually i was just like you know what i don't like this sport anymore i want to quit so i took a break for a couple of months and then we just kind of started easing our way back in and probably for about three months we were just playing games and then we slowly started to build up and up and up so I'll show you a couple of clips from the building up part and then we'll continue with the story. So I know it's a bit of a jump, but I don't have a lot of footage from when I was just building up. So here's my very first three foot jump ever. And then we unfortunately lost Scully in a horrible accident. He had gone lame, so we didn't ride him, we didn't ride him. And finally, we got a vet, so they x-rayed him and said it was fine. But he was still lame. Nothing ever was improving. So we got, the, we got him to go to that place, sorry, the vet's place. And they looked at him, and before they x-rayed or did just anything to double-check that he was going to be good, they put him in the round pen. And by the way that they had sent him out, the pressure was just enough on his leg. And it had already been a slight fracture that they had somehow missed. And it completely shattered. And while we could have tried to put up a fight, it, we decided that it was way too cruel to have him not be able to stand for a year and then have an uncomfy retirement. So we made the choice to let him go. So I started riding Hans and Goody because it was good for me to have two horses to ride. So me and Goody didn't click first right away, but we got better over time. So I'll show you some of those clips. So here is a couple clips of me and Goody jumping just around. And you can definitely see how my jumping position has improved so much, but it's they still aren't great. <laughs> and then around after a month after we lost Gully, um, we almost lost Hans to Colic, but luckily he's okay now. And here are just a couple more clips of me riding with Goody. 
So we were doing pretty good here, I'd say. These were some of my best rounds at the time. And definitely confidence builders. And that was after my very first style of riding. And I was so happy. And then here's a little pony named Whiskey, who we are going to lease for pony finals. But as you can see in the clips here, we were not a match. Yeah. So... They said that he was a 13-2 pony, and he was 12-2 on the nose. So I was obviously too big for this pony. So we ended him up just giving him back to his owners. Luckily, we hadn't paid for him at that point yet. And it was just a trial to see if it was going to work. And then we got Poppy. So we had Poppy on a lease. And then, ooh, do I have a story to tell? So... Me and Poppy were in a flat class. We had been the winners in our classes all day. And a girl loses control of her pony. She gets stumped and bucked off. And then her pony runs back into Poppy. And this thing was like 15-2. So 15-2. A horse just hit my 13-2 pony, which sent her flying one way, me flying the other, and... I broke another collarbone, so that put me up for a couple months. More like one, but still, that was not enjoyable. Here's some of my videos when I was coming back, and as you can see, I was pretty good with Hans, but definitely a little nervous with Poppy. And then my trainer was absolutely dying after this one. <laughs> she was like laughing very hard at me because Poppy had taken the hugest jump ever. And then. We're getting a little better, as you can see with my ack. You can see how my back is becoming flatter and less, um, like an old grandma, I guess, is the best way to describe it. And then that was a great jump. And then my, I said, that was a sitting trot. Wasn't the best, but it definitely wasn't the worst. And then we went to thermal, and this is where I'd say my biggest riding glow up was. So, here we are just going to thermal a little bit. Obviously, we weren't showing, but it was great practice. And then Poppy had to go to get qualified because you couldn't get qualified at Thermal. And I'd say this pretty much brings me to our point where I am now. So I know this is really confusing. So if you guys have any questions in the comments, please let me know down below. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.